Hey there, it's JG here with Earth 5D, back for another pick a card reading where you are the light, you're the path and the way forward, friends. It's all inside of you. You are the power that you're seeking. So happy you're here today, friends. We are looking at your person's top of mind thoughts of you. We have three piles to choose from. Pile here, this one on the left is pile one. Pile two here is in the middle. And pile three here is to the right. I was really guided not to use any little signifiers, okay? So one, two, and three. Take a moment if you need more time to choose your pile. We're gonna get right into it, pile one. I am doing an extended reading, by the way, and that is gonna be on what your person wants to happen next. What would they like to happen next? Then we will see what comes through. Okay, friends, I'll see you at your pile then. Hello, welcome to your reading pile one. We are looking at your person's top of mind thoughts of you right now. So happy you're here today. I'm going to do an extended reading and that's going to be what do they want to happen next, okay? So let's start here. Okay, we have the Archangel Aurora. Welcome new beginnings. Let the sun shine in your life. Okay, so this person is definitely open to a new beginning, a new happy beginning. We have the Seraphim Seraphiel. Tune into divine will, open to a higher illumination. Awesome. So what this person is thinking of is a higher perspective. So I feel like this person in their overall life is looking to upgrade their life, up upgrade their love, ex experiences in love, let's put it that way. Sorry, <laughs> there we go. Um, this person is open to higher consciousness, bringing more sunshine in their life. And so when they're thinking of you, that's what they're reminded of. New beginnings, happiness, warmth. And they're really tuning into their divine consciousness and, the, and what is the divine will for the two of you, okay? What else we got here? We have the high priest, just like the high priestess. Actually, interesting. You know what? I actually think that's Don. I think that's the Hierophant. Yep. Card five. Okay, here we go. We've got ten of pentacles. Four of wands. Wow. So, yeah. How on this person's really thinking about having a home with you, having a commitment with you, with the high priest and the ten of pentacles. This person has really good intentions and they have um, something serious in mind. So when this person thinks of you, they're thinking of something serious and committed and long term. They're thinking about building a happy family with you, very solid Here, we on these both of these cards, we have two people holding each other's hands. Okay, so they want to join with you, hold hands with you, and partner with you. See how that green energy is, a lot of healthiness. So when this person thinks of you, they're thinking of a healthy commitment. So that's always good to, to find, right? They're thinking about seriousness and like a, a, a traditional relationship where you have a family together where you build like your lives and your fortunes together we have the five of pentacles we have the eight of wands 
<coughs> so this this person is running away from being out in the cold. We have the Page of Pentacles. Their inner child is healing. They're investing in their life. Look at this and the Five of Pentacles twice here, okay? So it's interesting. So in the past, this person has a tendency to like think that love is not theirs. They're like, yeah, love, is, that stuff's not for me. And it could be very specifically in your connection pile one that you guys were like ships passing in the night or you didn't, you weren't able to create something to begin with. You were struggling to create something. And if it's not together, then it's separately. Like you were having trouble creating something. The land felt barren. We have this little koala bear. And there's no leaves on that tree, but there's a new leaf right here. And that's what he's got his eyes on is the new, new leaf and new growth. And so that's very much what I'm feeling and seeing here is that your person's thinking about is that they're focused on this new growth with you, what's alive and not dead. They might have this big dead tree in the background, literally, um, but they have a new partnership with you and want a new partnership with you. So they are running quickly towards you, running quickly in their mind towards you and their thoughts to create something that's very healthy and very long lasting and, and quite traditional friends. So their face is in the sun now. Look at this turtle, like they've been alone taking in the sunshine, finding a new way of being, friends. They've been finding a new way of being. And that is, look at, this is so interesting. This says, let the sun in your life. And this turtle is like, look at how the light is coming. We can't even see it, but we see it glowing in the background. So this person is letting the sun in their life sunshine in their life healing the inner child and growing up right wanting to make a commitment running quickly with the eight of wands towards uh, something very permanent something that they believe is divine will and so they're open to that higher consciousness and illumination and that's what they're thinking of when they think of you so we also have self-acceptance here Nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself. When you offer your whole being fully to love, self-acceptance arises spontaneously. May I rest in oneness, dear divine, in our oneness, dear divine. So this person is like, I'm done working on myself. <laughs> they feel like they've done enough endless working. I mean, that is sort of like a trap. Self-help could never end, right? And some of you need to hear that, that you can just accept yourself as you are and there's nothing else you need to do. So this person is working on self-acceptance and just accepting that they can have good in their lives and what they are is good enough. You could do like, oh, I should be like this. I should be like that. No, 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 no. If only I did this, if only I did that, if only I looked like this, if only I acted like that, that's just exhausting. And this is about accepting oneself exactly as you are, exactly as your person is. And then we have leadership with broccoli. That's not funny in this deck that broccoli stands for leadership, okay. Part six. Hmm. When they think of you, they think how you guys can be leaders together. You'll be a good example is what I'm hearing. And we have squirrel, spiritual maintenance, be your own caregiver. Hmm.
I think they're, um, well, it's a dichotomy, isn't it? It's let's maintain ourselves spiritually and caregiving and caregiving and working squirrels. I, I, I have a bunch of them in my yard and I love them. And I once saved one and had one in my home because it was winter and it would fall, fallen from the nest. Um, but squirrels move really quick and they're really fast and they're always busy. They do goofy things, but they're busy a lot. So you might have been, you and your person, and especially your person has been busy being their own, taking care of themselves and being their own caregiver spiritually. And they're, they're running towards greater self-acceptance here and working less, you know? It's like, the duality is like to self accept and like let's not continue to work on ourselves too much because we're going to exhaust ourselves with that spiritual maintenance of working hard. And so there lies that duality. I feel like your person's finding a middle ground with that. They're turning into their divine will and they're higher, open to higher illumination, which is leading them to self acceptance and less feeling of compulsivity of having to fix themselves. So this is allowing them run, to run quickly towards a commitment with you and a serious relationship. With the Four of Wands, I often say that that is the divine union, right? Divine union card. So there's a sense of 11-11 union of divine union that they're running towards, of celebrating, of having a home, of building a future that's stable and having a very strong commitment. Okay, let me get you some charms. Charms. Get some letter tiles. Looks like we have a couple letter tiles, but let's get some more. I'm over there. Okay. So we have a six. So six and eight, we have an L. We have a T, we have a D, limited LTD. <laughs> Maybe you guys have a business together, you want one. We have a one, six, and eight, another six, another eight. <laughs> so you guys might be seeing sixes and eights everywhere. We have an 11. So y'all might be Gemini, um, have a June birthday. You might have a November birthday or August Leo energy here. You could have January birthday. Love is the ultimate law of life. This, ter this person is learning like what real love is, not like fake love, you know? The real deal. We have an E. E.T. <laughs> Extraterrestrial. We have E.D. for Ed. We have Ted here. Let, let it in, you know, let love in. I'm hearing that song, Let Love Rule, uh, the Lenny Kravitz song. We have an S here. Okay, so we have an M here, an O, we have an R. Blank letter tile, an H. Homer. <laughs> As we have Homer Simpson, we have a D and an N. So these could be your person's initials. It could be an abbreviation for where they live, a city, a state, a country, a continent. We have the pineal gland here opening as a symbol with that pineapple, uh, pineapple, the um, pine cone. Time is nature's way of keeping everything from happening all at once. Hmm. Sense of divine timing here. A sense of, you know, your person being out in that five of pentacles energy, totally out in the cold, and just accepting like what things have been like in the past, you know. So with these eights, there's definitely a, a feeling of infinity. And with the double sixes, it could be that someone was born in 66, 67, or 68.
That's coming through strong with the sixes. Just remember to stay spiritual. 666. Just stay spiritual. And this, my friends, is what I see as top of mind when your person thinks of you. It's quite a bit, isn't it? So I hope it has assisted you, friends. If it has, make sure you like it. If you love it, subscribe to the channel and never miss a video. I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Feel free to drop in the comments, you know, uh, what, you're, what you're going through, what your story is, and share that with us. If you'd like to stick around for the extended reading, we are going to look at what your person wants to happen next. And my friends, they're looking for true love. That's what I see. So this person wants to be very nurturing. And I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> so much love and light, Pile 1. Take great care. So Pile 1, welcome to your reading. We are looking at what are a person's top of mind thoughts of you. After we do that, we're going to do an extended reading and look at what your person wants to happen next. Okay? So let's get into it. We have the energy from Pile 1. go okay we have the archangel Premenelic. be conscientious cooperate with others for the highest good mm. this person wants to do the right thing they're thinking about cooperating with you about bringing a real healthy energy about paying attention being conscientious paying attention to doing the right thing. Okay, and then the word cooperation really stands out. Really wanting to not go against the grain here, or wanting to help by being cooperative. Then we have the Archangel Raziel. Seek and you will find, be a wise one. When your person thinks of you, they have been searching for wisdom. They have been looking at into finding love and they are seeking that in you. Okay, for the highest good. So they're aware of this, they're conscious of it, to be wise when it comes to you, not to screw things up, right? To be cooperative. They're looking down at this page in this book, right? It's like they, they wanna they wanna do things the right way. And they're conscientious of that. They want to make wise decisions. And they are seeking that. And hoping to find that in your connection. Okay, let's get some more cards. We've got the Ten of Wands. There's a little kitty under their arm here. Looking at the fire. They got some more wood to throw on this fire, right? It's been heavy, but they have more to give. It's been difficult. Three of Cups. Joining together. Celebrating. We have the Lovers. This card indicates a choice. In love, you know, choice in love. Choosing you over other options. Wow, it's the sun, beautiful. When they think of you, they think of happiness, joy, contentment. We have the tower. Hmm, interesting, okay. So this is a sudden choice, you know. Um, to choose happiness and to choose love with you. Mm -hmm. The lovers is my one of my soulmate cards, you know. The sun is also like just so auspicious and good, happy. We have the two of wands. It's like a bright, happy day, friends. Staring through that window, looking at some good happiness, good happy times after some real hardship, friends. Look at this. They're looking to really like have some good times with you to celebrate. To choose you, to choose happiness, 
to look through that new window of joy with you after like really being out in the cold alone, working hard, you know? They see the sun with you. Look at that two of cups. So every art card, every card here really indicates a partnership here with you, um, choosing you. And this is after, this is a sudden deal, you know, this is like a sudden with the tower after like just working hard, investing, but like really working hard on something. Really working hard to get out of the cold and like follow the sun. The sun. We have honey, be the divine feminine. You are being called on to rise. Wow, beautiful. And we have grounding, the potato. People love them some potatoes, right? I've seen memes about it. How potatoes make, any kind of potato makes people happy to eat. Um, so we have travel. Let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony. May divine order arrange and handle every detail. I'll be guided easily and follow the leads as they are shown. So the person wants to come see you, right? Travel to see you to eat some potatoes together. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, yeah, this is a lighthearted card, uh, a lighthearted spread, a set of cards, you know? Um, it's a lighthearted energy where I feel like you're the honeybee, like the sweetness, the, sticks to you and so this this relationship when they think of you they're thinking about the rise of the divine feminine i'm surprised i don't see like i have the high priestess in here um you know or the empress but yeah when they think of you, they feel very grounded and happy, okay? They want to, we have a lot of symbol of partnership. We have the two of wands, the two of cups, and the lovers choosing to be together. And so this person, when they think of you, they have decided, if they hadn't in the past, they've decided to choose this partnership with the two, two, two. They travel, they want to travel to see you and they're just praying that that goes well. Because <laughs> uh, when they think of you, they just feel happy. And it's, it's indicated like it's a sudden decision here to partner with you after being alone. With the tower, this person might have let someone go. See the bird flying away? I feel like this person might have let someone go from the past or from the present. And they, you know, decided to commit to you with this hand tying. I love this deck. And, you know, they're trying to make wise choices and they feel like you're a wise choice. It's a sudden choice. And with the grounding, you know, they want to get grounded and they want to um, have good times here with their honey bee. You are the honey bee. You got the, the sweetness. You run the, the hive, right? You run the, run the show in many ways. They see that when they think of you. They see how hard you work. Honey bees work super hard, right? They see you working really hard and... Some of them want to give you a break and they're thinking about um, traveling, that you'll travel to them or, yeah, you'll travel to them or they will travel to you. And you'll be able to look out this pretty window and like see some things, you know? See some beautiful landscapes together. Three cups, celebrate and have a really good time and enjoy one another's company. That everything will be in divine order and you'll be in this divine partnership here with the two of cups and the lovers and the grounding of this energy 
So there's something also about that Angel Raziel, Archangel, and like the reading of the book. It's like almost like as things are written, like things have been written this way. And they, they know that. And when they think of you, they realize they're very conscientious of that. They're conscious of that. And they want to cooperate with the universe and spirit and you. How to. So this could be a sudden surprise, like where they suddenly appear with the tower. They suddenly travel to see you like that. And you might be busy working, but like you're going to have some time to relax and have fun. You have some time to look out the window and smell the roses, smell these beautiful flowers. I don't think there are roses, but yeah, they might. No, they might be though. They're just beautiful. And like there's this butterfly here. So, well, you know, see the butterflies, see the roses and um, stop and smell the flowers, right? To working really hard. They want to, they want you to enjoy this beautiful transformation in partnership with them. That's what they're thinking of. So also with the flowers and the travel, I am really being like assured or, or I really see flowers. So they might just be buying you flowers. Yeah. Or want to, to buy you flowers. Want to sort of like pollinate, right? With the flowers, pollen and pollination. Um, like a lot of fruitfulness here. Um, a lot of like even romantic energies, having fun romance um, definitely happiness just a traditional sense of happiness so let me get you your charms then and then we're going to look at what this person wants to happen next specifically right okay so this is definitely a third eye awakening the pine cone being a symbol of the pineal gland 51. This person might be 51 or 53 years old. 11.3, that is, could be November 3rd, which some of you guys who've been here a while know that's my birthday. So we have the 5.13. So you might be looking at the clock at 5.13 or 5.11. I see that. Could be your birthday, Taurus birthday, between, you know, May 11th and the 13th. It could be even be May 1st. May Day. We have an M, double M here, two M's. You might be a mom. We have a Q. We have an N, an I. Umbrella. So like if it's been rainy, you know, it's 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 time for the sun to shine with the big sun card hitting here. It's a sudden shift in consciousness to love to lovers, to soulmates. We have I, I, N. Oh, we have the sunflower, another sign of the sun. So you can expect a lot of joy. This person wants to come in and like keep you safe and, and protect you, defend you, be a hero in your life, keep you safe. We have the spider. Mm -hmm. So it's like capturing someone, you've got someone in your web, right? And they're, they're like very willing to be there. We have, you will spend old age in comfort and material wealth. It's nice to know, friends. So as an aside, right? Your Wednesday will bring you a pleasant surprise from a loved one. So if you're watching this on Wednesday, that's pretty cool. And then we have, I love you to the moon and back. So this person has definitely decided that they love you. They are in love with you. Yeah. So this person wants to keep you safe, right? You hold the key to this person's heart. Key to happiness, friends. That is what they are thinking of, top of mind when they think of you. And if you'd like to stick around for the extended, we will look at what they want to happen next, specifically. Okay, friends, so I'm sending you so much love and light. If you like it, make sure you like it. 
If you love it, subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you. And drop a comment below. Feel free to share your stories. Feel free to, yeah, check out what other people got going on and have to say. This is a community, my friends. And, guys, we'll see you at the extended or we'll see you in the next reading. Take good care. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. I'm so happy you guys are here. We are looking, what is this person's top of mind thoughts when they think of you? And then we are looking at, in the extended reading, what do they want to happen next? Let's get into it. What are their top of mind thoughts when they think of you? Pile three, let's see. We have the Seraphim Seraphisa. Relax and open to source energy. Keep your heart open. So yeah, this person is connecting to God, the creator, source energy. God, goddess, source energy, and they are keeping their heart open. When they think of you, they're keeping their thought open. It's very peaceful energy, very beautiful energy. Okay, we have the Archangel Lavender. Prepare for soul healing, forgive and release everyone. Wow, so this is about forgiveness, pile three. Beautiful. So yeah, this is about keeping an open heart and forgiving any differences they've had with you. And they're opening to God's source energy. They've been praying. They've been really being mindful and like kind of doing the right thing. And you know, really doing the right things. Okay. We have the Empress. Beautiful. So right now they have there's three female energies on the on the table here so when they think of you they think of like angels angelic female beings and they see you as like the ultimate female ultimate divine feminine ultimate female all four queens in one you got it all you got it going on you are the the top in their mind the top female we have the Queen of Pentacles, very, very grounded, very, very great at finances, very, very, very great at being here on the earth and wielding your power, you know, doing the right things at the right time for the right reasons, which is very attractive to them. They have the Nine, we have nine of Cups here, so you're definitely a wish come true. They've been praying for you. Seven of Swords. Four of Wands. It's their dream to like settle down and live with you. And the Knight of Swords. It's their dream to like rush in and swoop in and get you so no one else takes you. Okay, so this is like a little story here, but okay, so when they think of you, they have like this story in their head, and they they see you as, you know, first of all, as a wish come true. They see you as the ultimate queen, you know, number one, and you, you end up being very, very grounding for them. You might want to watch pile two as well, pile three, because there was like a lot of this grounded energy though this is slightly I mean it's different they're all different but yeah you have this effect on this person as, as grounding you know and so you you can handle the world very well and they want to it's their dream to sort of like forgive everybody release everyone and just be happy you know have an open heart and uh, this is like their thought is and their deep desires to have a new beginning with you grounded beginning and it's based on something very long longevity here with the four of wands like it's based on something celebratory and also healthy and also lasting like 
living together, right? Joining together, living together, it's divine union together. So with the Seven of Swords, this person has been like strategizing how to come in and get you. And this person sees you as very caring and forgiving yourself. And for some of them, they're wondering like, well, will she forgive me, you know? You're not a fool, but you're, you're compassionate, you know? And so um, if this person like let you slip through their fingers in the past or they weren't able to secure this connection, they're hoping for like a second chance, you know? Divine union for wishes coming true, for grounded energy where you like, you know, I see you as being very motherly actually, <coughs> very um, nurturing. And it's something that's very, very attractive to them. And you know, you're a very loving person, you're a very nurturing person, and they're, when they think of you, they, they would like to partake in it. It's interesting, because the other pals was like them and you, and this is just you I see here, you know? You might be very strategic. You might be um, ready and available. And this person, wants that grounded new beginning. They want a, a grounded opportunity with you to give you your wishes, you know, which is to settle down. To build a home together with the four of wands. They want to give you that. You're the ultimate. You are the ultimate. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Let's get some more cards. We have compassion. As you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is born, drawing new people and experiences. Dear, dear Lord, help me feel ever deepening self-acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. So this person loves that, like your compassionate heart and they really accept you. They accept you as you are. They don't want you to change anything about yourself. We have the Phoenix, Empower, Fire Activations, Being Creative, and Spiritual Freedom. This could be Scorpio energy too, because they, they like to transform themselves in the fire about every seven to eight years. Sometimes like nine or 10, you know, between seven and 10. Um, you could be a fire sign or they might be, but I think a lot of you, if you chose, if you come to pile three, you um, are, are starting again with this person. <coughs> and you're, you're having compassion and you're practicing transformation with them. Healing, deep soul healing. So it says forgive and release everyone. So this person is letting like bygones be bygones or letting the past be the past. They are keeping an open heart to you when they think of you and they have compassion with you and they want things to be reborn. So if it's not in this lifetime, it's from another lifetime. They want things to be reborn. They want that new opportunity to celebrate with you and to be a part of your world. You know, your bright, shiny, powerful, creative world, that motherly world like, where you own everything, on, you know, you own it all. And we have duality with the banana here. 27. Some of you are 27 or born in 72. So yeah, you guys could be divine counterparts. So you guys might have like a lot of duality and a lot of differences. And this is your person thinking, hmm, we're very different. 
but yet having a lot of compassion for them, having a lot of interest in your differences. Sometimes I think if there's a stereotype that if you guys are do like very different, then somehow you're gonna like always butt heads. But if you're mature enough and you've done enough healing, you know, it's that duality that's very, very attractive, right? Knowing and loving someone who's nothing like you. And um, and so that's what I see here in, in this pile of three. It's like this person sees you guys as very different and they like that. Like they might be very judging and you're very compassionate and not judging, you know? So they're learning from you. So you're helping them face themselves, face their inner world. And so the fact that I don't, the only, this is the only card where I see them. So they're like swooping in. Everything else I see is you. <coughs> so the story is like, when they think of you, they're like, oh, what is she strategizing here? I want this beginning. I want, I want my queen. I want my empress here. I want my ruler, this mother. This healthy person who's very compassionate, who transforms themselves constantly and is constantly aligned with their dreams and aligned with healing. They want that with you. They want that divine union with the four of wands. You know, they're thinking about it when they're thinking of you, pile three. It's very interesting. I'm going to get you some charms. I think it's interesting that they kept themselves out of it. They just want to talk about you, and that's okay because... That's what's on their mind is you. Charms for pile three. So those are their top of mind thoughts. What else do we have here? We have B and an R. R and B. <laughs> Maybe y'all like some rhythm and blues. We have a five, an eleven. Could be November 5th or the 5th of, I'm sorry, or May 11th. We have an O. We have Rob, so I'm spelling someone's name there. Nob, N-O-B. <laughs> we also have like Rob, like, I don't mean Rob someone, I mean someone's name, okay? Um, so take these, could be initials. We also, that could be Robin, right? Look at these two hearts joined together. So that, oh, we have a four again. So like that four of wands energy is very present, like wanting to live together, wanting to settle down. After being sort of like cranky and like non-compassionate, like they want to change. This keeps coming out. The symbol of the third eye awakening is this pine cone. It's the symbol of the pineal gland. So there's like third eye awakening. You might have cats. You are this magical unicorn for this person. But certainly your hearts are joined together, friends. This is coming out of the shell. It could be April 5th. It could be 54 years old. 20 years old. April 11th could be significant. It could be 45 years old. 16th of the month. Yeah, significant, like the, either the four, between the 14th and the 16th is what I'm seeing too. So yeah, friends, it's beautiful. Um, I do feel like this person is somewhat private, you know? And so they're, they're, we're seeing like the snapshot of your person, what their thoughts are, um, but we're not seeing much about them other than they want to swoop in. Okay, so I am going to move over uh, to your extended reading, and we're going to look at what they want to happen next, which could be kind of mysterious since they seem a bit mysterious here. And yeah, feel free to drop a comment below and share your story with us. We, you know, feel free to read someone else's story. And it is a community we can share with one another, so that's awesome. We have the freedom to do that. So if you like it, make sure you like it. And if you love it, make sure you subscribe to the channel for future videos. And yeah, just remember there's this, this empowerment that your person is seeking here. 
and this freedom and that's happening through this transformation and duality between the two of you okay so i'm gonna leave it there and i'll see you at the extended or i'll see you in the next reading take good care pal three